This is our video wrap up uh, for this project, uh, the Pixicles. Um, wanted to break down the wiring real simply here. Got DMX coming out of my Lynx dongle, going through a power injector here off of my 12 volt supply, in through one of these little $16 protocol converters. Uh, I don't have this in a box or anything, I just put these together. And uh, then from there, we run right into the first key sickle. Um, and you'll see that there's actually three of the long um, pixels. Uh, each of those is seven pixels long. And those are what I'm calling the key sickles. And that's because um, those are the channel placeholders in this setup. So when our DMX comes into this, it's actually running down this pixel strip. And then it's running out through an extension at the bottom, back up and out the top. So that means these on this first key sickle are pixels one through seven. And then we're taking the rest of that 2801 protocol, looping it back, coming out the top and coming down to our second key sickle which will do the same thing. So this is now channels 8 through 14. We loop an extension off the end and we run back up to the top and back out and then we run across here to our last key sickle which is channels 15 through 21. Um, this one also has an extension that loops off the end, comes back up and shoots out because that is the rest of the 2801 protocol uh, coming off that protocol converter. Um, this setup using those three, it's a total of uh, 63 channels or 21 RGB channels. So in my full uh, 512 uh, DMX universe, I still have quite a few channels left over that that little protocol converter can still run. Um, so all I'm doing is allowing the, the channels from 64 on to continue by running off that extension on the last one and, and out to whatever other display items I might want to use. Now the smaller tubes you'll see here, the intermediary, uh, the three pixel and five pixels, those uh, have just a regular standard set of pigtails because they're going to repeat whatever the pattern is on this. So in this case I can connect the shorter of my two pigtails over to say this tube and then over to this tube and because they're three different lengths and because they're in three totally different spots in the uh, pattern, even though they're all running together, I still get that look of, of randomness in it. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Uh, I've been having some problems with YouTube, so I'm going to mute the uh, music on it. But we'll go ahead and play this out of LORS3 just so you can kind of get some ideas of the patterns. Um, so you can see again, we can run in unison or we can do random dripping paddle patterns uh, all together. And this will cycle through the different colors. Uh, you do have to be careful. This particular strip is not RGB order, it's BRG order. So I had to go in and renumber some of my channels in Lightarama so that the correct color would display when I wanted it to. And I think there's been some forum posts about how to do that lately, so I'm not going to rehash it. Um, but here you can see the overall effect. Um, all the different things possible with these. Total cost for this project uh, was just under $100. Um, I had about 12, $10 or $12 worth of PVC uh, for the caps and all of that. Um, my pigtails were $0.75 cents a piece. Uh, you know, I got 10 of those in this and um, the uh, pixel strip itself was 60 bucks um, so you know even figuring in $16 for a protocol converter which is again like I said I'm using uh, only a small percentage of what that can actually control um, it's still a very very affordable project uh, it took me about four hours to put all uh, all ten of my tubes together. Um, I'm showing nine here. I have one long tube uh, as a backup in case anything were to happen to any of these.